All right then, so wasting no time, Apple has just released iOS 12.1.1 Beta 1 hot on the heels of 12.1 released yesterday as they continue to improve their new iPhones and iOS 12 as a whole. So there's a number of new changes in this firmware and I wanted to discuss that with you. It's not a very large update, about 400 megabytes on my 10s Max, uh, but it is substantial with the fixes it does provide. So before, had 11.99 gigabytes, freed up just under a fifth of a gigabyte here. All right, so what's new? Let's go ahead and open Open up FaceTime and I'm gonna make a call over here to my other phone. Let me turn down the sound, that is so annoying. Okay, so now that we're inside of FaceTime here, Apple has added this down here, a mute and a flip button that's available on this uh, front view without having to go into the separate toggle in order to get to it. And previously this is what it looked like. So as you can see, you had to click on this and then go to mute and that was quite annoying. So Apple has created a little shortcut here with the flip button and the mute button. And yeah, to flip the camera, I heard a lot of people complaining about this. You had to actually go in here and only then could you do it. Also, what's annoying is you couldn't drag this up and now you can. So you can drag up the page just like that and slide it down out of view just like that. Also, you can now take live photos directly from within here. It's a feature Apple removed in iOS 12 for whatever reason. The other person must be on iOS 12.1.1 though in order for this to work. So. As you can see, FaceTime photos must be enabled on both devices to use this feature. But that feature is back as long as both devices are updated. So a number of fixes here in the FaceTime app, some optimizations to make your FaceTiming even more convenient. Also, this view right here in general has been made uh, to look a little bit different. So as you can see, it's been optimized and I think it looks a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner and easier to use. And there are a number of changes that I forgot to mention in iOS 12.1 that I wanted to include in this video. So after restarting your iPhone, look at that animation up top. This happens every time the face ID is disabled, the lock goes into this text, this nice animation. So just like that, basically it goes into the swipe up to unlock text as it's missing from down here. And this is only upon restarting. This doesn't happen every time you unlock your phone, unfortunately, but I do like how it looks. And many people were having cellular issues, some Wi-Fi issues with iOS 12 and the newer iPhones in general. Apple has patched that in this latest version. They did also add some battery management features to the iPhone 8 series, the 10 and uh, the 8 Plus, of course, as that was not available because they were too new. Now you'll be able to disable the throttling in case your battery shuts off early on those devices as well. And eventually we're gonna get that on the 10s probably next year. And another cool one is that in this page right here, if you have a new iPhone 10s, 10R series, then uh, it'll let you know if you replace your battery, it'll let you know if it's doubting the authenticity of that battery. So Apple said that it now has the capability to do so. Now you guys won't believe this, but there is yet another bypass that's been discovered by the very same guy in the latest version of iOS 12.1, and it's not patched yet in 12.1.1 as uh, it was just discovered. Anyways, from a locked device, I'm gonna go ahead and make a phone call over this. I just wanna demo it, it's very, very fast. And once you do get that call, just go ahead and unlock, click FaceTime, and then go over here and uh, click add person, click the little plus icon, and you're in the contacts. Just like that, you can get anyone's number, uh, contact info, emails from here, and you're not supposed to be able to do that from a locked device. So I'm gonna go back, and as you can see, still locked. I had access to the entire contact list here. I do assume this will be fixed in later versions of 12.1.1. All right, so let's go ahead and see the speed performance of 12.1.1 with a Geekbench test. The numbers were returned to normal yesterday with 12.1, so I'm feeling good about this one on 12.1.1. I hope we do get an iOS 12.2 here relatively soon with some very big features as well. Always love those big numbers. It's these little updates that don't have that much in them, but uh, of course they are necessary to make sure your phone is running smoothly. And that's looking good, comparable to yesterday's score on 12.1. All right guys, there it is, iOS 12.1.1. Not a very large update, but it does have some very necessary updates in the FaceTime application. So stay tuned for any developments on this. I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.